Let's see what's going on. If you need a person reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box. Let's see. You know what? This person is very manipulative. Because of their manipulation, right? You seem to be, um, you know, they're very cold, very detached towards, you know, they don't open up about their emotions, you know, they manipulate you a lot is what I'm getting. You're dealing with a very smart, very intelligent person is what I'm getting here, okay? Because of which it puts you in a lot of confusion. You don't know what to do. You don't know you should stay, you should go. They love you. They don't want you. They want you. What's going on, okay? And now I think there are too many tabs open in your head. All right. You have the magician on your side. And you have the two of wands. Yeah, this person needs to make a choice. This person here needs to make a decision, okay? They're watching you from a distance, okay? Now, whether they need to make a choice or you need to make a choice here, but, but I think it's more like they need to make a choice. They're at a crossroads out here, okay? They haven't chosen, they haven't made a choice about whether they want to leave or let go of this connection or whether they want to be with you or not. But they're sitting on the fence, okay? It's a very stressful, very um, uh, painful decision. Okay, but they're still sitting on the fence, making you wait. So there's like this waiting game going on, which is why this, pers this person is trying to get clarity out here. They don't have a clarity about what they should do. You know, usually this person will operate from their logic, their rational um, side, but their emotions are overpowering their logic. So I feel that their ego is uh, being a big hindrance out here. You, on the other hand, here with the magician here, I feel you're secretly manifesting this person or indirectly manifesting this person okay maybe you're manifesting that you can get clear and get out of this confusion here okay maybe you want answers maybe you want clarity yeah you're very focused on your career your goals your money etc okay you're no longer focused on this person anymore i feel earlier you were now you're not focused on this person you're just focused on yourself your financial growth financial independence whatever that is but i think you're no longer investing into this person here i think you're taking uh, putting all your energy on yourself being very greedy and stingy exactly what this person did all this while you're doing this to them yeah this person looks at the situation very negatively you know they feel like things are just not going in their favor there are a lot of obstacles a lot of unknown obstacles there are a lot of external obstacles between you both you know but they they, they want to get the ball rolling you know with you but I feel that there's something here that is stopping them and they feel that Lady Luck is not on their side, okay? But yeah, overall, they have a very negative mindset, you know? They just feel like this is just never going to move forward out here. And hence, they are indecisive and not being able to take uh, action in the right step forward. You know, it's like this point of life where they're so stuck. See, that's why the two of wands here, right? If they thought a little logically, they probably would be able to take a step forward in the positive, positive direction. But this all has to do with their mindset being indecisive you know um this could be someone very moody also but someone in two minds someone who can just never make a decision never make up their mind okay so they have a habit of um probably keeping you on hand on hold okay so they don't even completely commit to you and they don't even completely let you go you know they keep the ha keep the keep you hanging which is why there's so much confusion from your side hmm. yeah so they won't take action, but they'll just stay very hopeful and faithful, faithful that things will be hopeful and um, have a attitude where, you know, it's like one day things will be okay. So there has definitely been a tower moment between you both. And now it's like they're trying to heal is what I'm getting here. There's like this calm, okay, after the storm is what I'm getting here. This person's trying to heal. You, on the other hand, my friend, I think you're trying to, you're finally seeing things for what it is. I feel you were in two minds all this while but you're seeing things for what it is you're being very clear in your head okay about what you want to do and if this is not you manifesting this person here could be could not be or this could just be you trying to manifest new opportunities in your life career wise love wise new love whatever it is okay but your focus is not on this person or this uh, connection why because this person seems to play a lot of mind games with you that's what i'm getting okay Things still don't go in your favor. This person still feels that things are still not going on their favor. There's still some kind of delays here, okay, which this person needs to um, go through. You know, there are some lessons that this person needs to learn. You know, you got to go through what you got to go through, right? Till then, I think you're going to be in the state of mind of a little bit of confusion or, you know, a little bit of um, illusions, okay? But very soon, you'll make up your mind is what I'm getting. What action do you plan on taking towards this person? <coughs> 
What action does this person plan on taking towards you? Wow. It's about a brand new beginning here. There is going to be an opportunity here where you both can start brand new. But I have a feeling that you are going to let go of this connection. You're ending this connection and moving on. Because this has been a very painful cycle. So you're choosing to end this painful cycle and choose to move on from this connection. A lot of backstabbing, a lot of betrayal from this person's side here. And you're like, you know what? I, I have no time to go through this anymore. You don't want to build with this person. I think you're letting this person go and trying to build somewhere else. Or trying to just build on your own. But definitely not trying to... Um, you know be in this connection this person out here is coming towards you with an opportunity here i feel there's going to be some kind of communication from this person's side online communication social media or something like that where you guys will have an opportunity to start from scratch okay that's what they want they want to start from scratch clean slate forget what happened in the past okay but i don't think you're up for that i don't think you're up for that let's see the outcome Like I said, this person is going to approach you. This person is going to approach you. They're going to open up emotionally. Okay. This person is someone you know, who like to enjoy the center of attraction. Okay. They love enjoy being the center of attraction. They did not want to be committed. They wanted to enjoy their finances, the luxury. They wanted to be okay on their own. Okay. This person is like, I am enough and I don't need anyone. Okay. Maybe you were the missing piece of the puzzle. After going through so many cycles, after making you feel so betrayed, backstab, etc. Now this person decides to want to come towards you and want something uh, committed or at least want to be in a relationship with you. They will, offer a, they will offer a relationship with you. You're not going to be single any longer. Again, don't let me tell you whether you are going to be or not. But there is going to be an offer of a relationship coming from this person here. They want to offer you a relationship. For sure, Aries. They want to. Okay. And they're going to open up. They're going to open up and tell you what you really, really mean to them. They're going to open up emotionally. This is uh, the Knight of Cups is someone who longs to come and sweep you off your feet. Okay. The love offer. The commitment offer. Okay. Someone who's ready to be vulnerable. And they are definitely um, coming from a place of codependence. A little clingy and needy is also what I'm getting here, okay? But yeah, it's just about, it's just a wait and watch time with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse here. There is going to be, a, there are some negative uh, changes that are happening in your connection from this person side here, which they can't really help because it's the Wheel of Fortune, which is done by the universe here. But um, it looks like they will come towards you with this opportunity here. You, I don't think you will take it up. I think you're going to let this go. I think you'll pass. You'll, you'll just pass it on. I don't think you want to reconcile with them. Or for a few of you, maybe you want to. But most of you will, I think, be ready to let go, okay? Because your focus is going to be your career, your goals, your money, your profession, mm -hmm. anything but this connection, okay? So that's what I have for you. You have a relationship coming up. It's going to be up to you whether you want it or not, all right? So that's what I have for you. Hope this feeling resonates. See you. Bye-bye.